The book of Genesis, chapter 10, verse 6. The Hamites. And sons of Ham are Cush, and Mithraim, and Phut, and Canaan. Verse 15. And Canaan hath begotten Sidon, his firstborn, and Heth, and the Jebusite, and the Amorite, and the Girgashite, and the Hivite, and the Ark. I, and the Sinite, and the Arvite, and the Zemurite, and the Hamatite, and afterwards have the families of the Canaanite been scattered. And the border of the Canaanite is from Sidon, and thy coming towards Gur into Gaza, and thy coming towards Sodom and Gomorrah and Adma and Zabun unto Lasha. And these are the sons of Ham, and by their families, by their tongues, and their lands, and their nations. Heth is the forefather of the Hittites. The DNA of the Canaanites, Phoenicians, Hittites, and Sidonians. Who were the Canaanites? According to the article, The Genomic History of the Bronze Age Southern Levant, we show evidence that different Canaanite groups genetically resemble each other more than other populations. The inhabitants of the Southern Levant in the Bronze Age are commonly described as Canaanites, that is, residents of the land of Canaan. In the later, the Canaanites are referred to as the pre-Israelite inhabitants of the land. Evidence shows that the genomes of present-day groups geographically and historically linked to the Bronze Age Levant, including the great majority of present-day Jewish groups and Levantine Arabic-speaking groups are consistent with having 50% or more of their ancestry from people related to groups who lived in the Bronze Age Levant in the Calolithic Zagros. The term Canaanites is loosely defined, referring to a collection of groups which in the Bronze Age were organized in a city-state system and thus in principle could lack genetic coherence. This suggests that archaeological and historical category of Canaanites correlates with shared ancestry. Haber et al. suggested that the Canaanite Levant Bronze Age population from the site of Sidon, Lebanon, 1700 BCE could be modeled as a mixture of the same two groups, albeit in different proportions, 48% Levant Neolithic related and 52% Iron Kaolithic related. However, the Neolithic and Bronze Age sites analyzed so far in Levant are separated in time by more than 3,000 years, making the study of samples that fill in this gap, such as those from Piquetin, of critical importance. And this is from the article...
ancient DNA from Calcolithic Israel reveals the role of population mixture in cultural transformation. Identifying genetic traces of historical expansions, Phoenician footprints in the Mediterranean. The Phoenicians were the dominant traders in the Mediterranean Sea 2,000 to 3,000 years ago and expanded from their homeland in the Levant to establish colonies and trading posts throughout the Mediterranean, but then they disappeared from history. From these comparisons, we found that hobble group J2 in general and six YSCR hobble types in particular exhibited a Phoenician signature that contributed greater than 6% to modern Phoenician influenced populations examined. The Phoenician colony test results highlight only one hobble group, J2, which constantly scores significantly in all three tests across the range of colonization sites. J2 is also, also known for its Phoenician spread. It's also known for a Jewish diaspora. This article, Continuity and Admixture in the Last Five Millennia of Levantine History from Ancient Canaanite and Present-Day Lebanese Genome Sequences. I bring these up because in these results right here, these were the Sidonians that they tested of having, which we know J1, page 58, is known as a Semitic origin for the Israelites, Arabs, Samaritan Israelites, Kohenim, Ishmaelites, Hashemites, In addition, the two Sidon BA males carried the Y chromosome hobble groups JP58 and JM12, which is J2. Who were the Phoenicians? This is an article by Rick Gore, who were the Phoenicians. On Wikipedia, there's a connection that J2 is the Phoenician model, model hobotype, is what the Phoenicians carried. I'm not gonna really go over this. I just want people, I just wanted to scroll through this. So people can see it, the Phoenicians would have brought something else to Spain, their Y chromosomes. This is the connection that the Canaanites would have shared with the Lebanese men, the Y chromosome that was brought by the Canaanites, who are known as the Phoenicians.
The Phoenicians were the Canaanites and the ancestors of today's Lebanese, says Wells. Now I would like to go over some of the hobble groups that were found in Lebanon. You can find this information on hobbletree.info. As we can see, this is one of the samples, the Sidon, J2B, Canaanite culture. Sidon, J2A, Lebanon, Middle Ages. Lebanon, JFGC11 star. I'll open this up so y'all can see it fully. It's Canaanite culture, side on. And we also have maternal DNA of the Canaanites. I'll bring up the article that relates to the maternal side of who the Canaanites were. We also have, or Phoenicians, I should say, we also have the Phoenicians maternal DNA X chromosome. I bring up this old Hittite DNA sample to show that would, they would have carried Hava Group J2A, old Hittite. This one has rem a remarkably a lot of J2 Hava group amongst Israel, which can only be identified as the Canaanites. With that being said, however, there is a big portion Uh, two um, two hobble groups. I apologize for that. Two hobble groups that were found in the land of Canaan in Tel Megiddo, who carried hobble group E one B one B one B two. The they were known as the two brothers, and they ca carried Horian names. Bring up the Excel spreadsheet. So we can see who these two brothers are. These are the two hobble groups right here. Not only that, they were known for being royal. Ruling cat. That king of Megiddo at that time did not have a Semitic tra traditional Canaanite name, but rather a Hittite, a Hurrian name. Let me go ahead and pull this up since it got all blurry or it got all messed up. I should still have this open. Oh. 
here. Apologize for that. That's just the care of this. I brought this up because the Phoenician Haplogroup J2 has been found all throughout the Mediterranean, especially in the city called Cadiz or Gader in Spain. And their settlements match almost exactly the zone where J2 is found at a higher frequency in southern Andalusia. This article, Ancient Mythogenomes of Phoenicians from Sardinia and Lebanon, A Story of Settlement, Integration, and Female Mobility. Now I'll skip down to the hollow groups so you can see where to find it at. It'll be under Table 1, Hobble Group Assignments, Dates, Locations, and Gene Bank, Accession, Details of All ADNA Samples Included in Analyst. I open it up so everybody can see. It's, it's kind of hard to see it this way. These are the maternal Hobble Groups that were found for the Phoenicians. I already opened it up. As you can see, these are more of Near Eastern European maternal hobble groups. If you also go to hoplotree.info, type in Sardinia in the search bar, you will see the same results for mtDNA that these are the X chromosomes for the Phoenicians thank you for watching this video if you can please like share subscribe to my channel and give me any feedback or comments you think I can improve on. It would be much appreciated. Thank you.